Our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it. is to bring awareness to injustices in our community. I mean no harm to the family nor friends of the victims. All information included is public knowledge and was gathered by the local news outlets. Okay, let's talk about it bears nor allows no malice towards anyone discussed in these videos. These videos are not created to motivate any attacks, cause any harm, nor no deep-seated meanness. Please be respectful when responding. If you can't bear to do this, this may not be the channel for you. Mrs. Valley Valerie Junius, I wish it wasn't too late. I wish she would have made it to that happy place. But in the process of making plans to escape, domestic disturbance ceased her final days. Beautiful queen, you sleep peacefully in your resting place. Greetings, everyone, and thank you so much for joining in with Kimberly and Kay. Let's talk about it, an open platform of communication where anything can be served without judgment. This evening, we're going to be discussing Ms. Valerie Junius, the young lady out of Texas who was attempting to leave her husband who allegedly killed her before she can get away. Let me give a commercial, and then we'll be right back with more Okay, let's talk about it. Shop Kimberly's Closet, created by a simple chick, encouraging all queens, ladies, and sisters to boldly create an expression of themselves through street fashion at an affordable price. Be sure to select items that will cause you to beware of yourself. Love it, snap it, and share it. Ladies, you can have whatever you like now and pay later with Afterpay at checkout. All of that at shopkimberliescloset.com. Okay, so here we go. The title of this story is Man Kills Wife, Shoots Two Children in Katie Domestic Violence Hostage Situation. This article is out of Houston Chronicle. The story states that a Katie man allegedly killed his wife, Miss Valerie Junius, and shot two of his stepchildren during a domestic violence hostage situation. The shooting took place in front of Junius' 12-year-old and 8-year-old children, prosecutors said, during a probable cause hearing. This man has been charged with one count of murder and two counts of aggravated assault of a family member. His bond has been set at $1 million and he remains in the custody of the Harris County Jail. Okay, so let's talk about it. We have Mrs. Valerie Junius. She was 36 years old. She was a mother of six children ranging between the ages of four years old and 20 years old. As well, she was also a wife and married to Mr. Lawrence Reed, who is 53 years old. So that means that he was 17 years older than her. Now, the couple had been in an ongoing domestic dispute, and Miss Valerie was trying to get away. She had recently left her husband from Texas and was staying in Chicago um, with family and friends for about a month. She had returned to Texas only to retrieve her belongings. And according to Valerie's family, Lawrence knew it was over. And as she was on the phone with her mom, um, her mom could hear Lawrence telling Valerie that he was going to kill her and her children. And then Valerie's mom could hear Lawrence allegedly taking her daughter's life by the sound of seven gunshots. She can also hear her 16-year-old grandson and her 20-year-old granddaughter attempting to flee the house as Lawrence allegedly shot at them also. Now, there was a neighbor who witnessed the incident. This neighbor says that as he came outside into the gunfire, he was attempting to help Miss Valerie. 
And as he got up to her, she had gunshots in her stomach. She had gunshots in her arm. And then Lawrence came back outside and he allegedly was saying, don't help her. I shot her in the head. She already dead. Allegedly, Mr. Lawrence Reed then barricaded himself into the home and threatened to take his own life. The negotiators eventually talked him out of the house and he was charged with murder and two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. So not only did this girl have to die in such a horrible way, but Valerie's family is alleging that the day after she was murdered, Laura's family went to her home, stole money out of her purse, stole her car, and then as well took all of her valuable possessions. Please keep this family and these children in y'all prayers. And also to all of the young ladies out here, to all of the sisters out here, to all of our queens out here, if you are anyone that you know are experiencing any type of domestic dispute, please get help. The National Domestic Violence Hotline is open seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and 365 days a year. That means they are open all the time. Their contact number is 1-800-799-SAFE or 1-800-799-7233. And I'm going to end it on that note. Make sure that you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. If there's anything you want me to discuss on my platform, make sure you stop by kletstalkaboutit.com. Support a sister and shop at shopkimberlyscloset.com. And until next time, our world has real people with real problems, and we're going to talk about it. Our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it.